the bottom of half down. When you got what you need, when you hurt, you still bleed. Well, it's time. Woo! That was a trek. It got warm on the way back. What is up guys? Melissa, Jesse, and Lincoln here with Adventure Endeavor. In this video, we are exploring Yosemite National Park. We start our day with a scenic drive on Highway 120 into Yosemite's valley floor. The views are absolutely breathtaking. Melissa and myself have been to Yosemite a handful of times because we are originally from Southern California. And I have to say that it's already quite a different experience. Obviously the snow is epic. It, have you ever seen snow on Half Dome? I haven't, mm -hmm. which is Percent. really cool, really fun. The water flows are just out of control. Awesome in a cool way right now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing many, many more. It, yeah, it's it's really just it's amazing. We're really excited and wanting to come here at this specific time of the year before it gets too crazy busy in the summertime. Well, all of the water is still flowing and there's still a good amount of snow coverage just because we've never seen you know, somebody with snow. Yeah. Um, so that's exciting for us and uh, and it's Lincoln's first time and we're hoping Lincoln. to do some mild trails or even just walking paths down in the valley floor. Yeah. Maybe we'll get lunch in town. In town in the valley get some lunch right. um it's just it's just awesome up here absolutely beautiful considering the fact that it was still early april and the park had a lot of snow we decided to hike mirror lake trail this trail can be done as an out and back or a loop. Out and back will be roughly two miles as where the loop will be roughly five miles. It's considered easy to moderate, which is exactly what we were looking for. We made it to the bottom of Half Dome. So many, many years ago, we hiked to the top. We did the, um, the cables. Mm -hmm. It's like a 16 mile hike. It's awesome. It's really cool to see it at a different perspective from down here. Here, dude, S a snow. Snow. What do you think? Is it too cold to put on your head? Ah! Here. You can have it. <laughs> oh no. That's not gonna be good. You gotta get that out, Dad. Done fall down his pants. 
After our hike, we walked over to Curry Village and got lunch at Bar 1899. We quickly locked the dining pavilion and the market, which is stocked well with all the necessities. The next day. All right, guys. So we are here in Yosemite Park yet again at one of the lesser known areas. We are here at Hatchi Reservoir. And today we are going to hike to where, babe? The waterfall? Yes. I don't know the name of it. Wa Hold on, let me get my map. Wam Wawampa? Wawampa Waterfall, I believe. And you may be asking yourself why I have a backpacking backpack and Melissa has a child with also a bunch of stuff. And today is kind of going to be a trial run for us. This summer up in the Pacific Northwest, we really want to go backpacking with Lincoln. So we both got to get comfortable carrying heavy weight. She's probably about 30 pounds, I would guess. And I'm probably about 35 right now. I know that I'm going to be much, much heavier of a pack when we actually go for a couple nights overnight out in the back country. But today is just kind of a trial run of our gear and getting our legs used to the weight uh, that you're going to need when you're doing, you know, five miles a day, mm -hmm. 10 miles a day with all your stuff on your back. So the name of this uh, waterfall is actually Wapama Falls. Wapama. It is right underneath Hetch Hetchy Dome. This is both of our first times in this in the Hetch Hetchy Valley, even though we've been to Yosemite National Park multiple times. So we're excited. The road getting here is rather treacherous uh, after you enter the park. Eh, it's not a um, bad. It's so, a very narrow two lane and yeah. you can tell right here some of it is one lane. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot bring an RV on this road. Yeah, no vehicles over 25 feet in length or eight feet wide, or wider than eight feet. So mm -hmm. we're parked here. Uh, we're gonna go do this day hike and show you guys the waterfall. The reservoir looks amazing. There's a lot of other cool stuff on this trail too. We're ready to go? I think so. Ready, Lincoln? Yeah. Is Lincoln ready? Lincoln's ready. <laughs> Originally, this was a more like a valley, kind of like Yosemite Valley, but on a smaller scale. And uh, the 1906 earthquake in San Francisco and then the resulting fires that burned for like three days, kind of unabated, made it so that there was like a, a big demand for water and yeah. they wanted water at like a, a better resource basically. Uh, yeah, they wanted a more reliable resource because yeah. it damaged a lot of the water that San Francisco already had and used. So they wanted to create this reservoir, which... Uh, it was a big source of controversy because this was already a national park at the time. Last, the bill uh, was passed and it became a reservoir after they dammed it with the O'Shaughnessy Dam. And my child is trying to steal my hat. Hey, hey, stop hey, it, hey, hey, stop hey, it. Hey. But, um, so, you know, there's it's still a big source of controversy today, but I mean, I think that it's still very beautiful in its own way. There's totally. still talks of potentially restoring it to an original meadow, um, but and then, essentially yeah, putting a big hole in the dam. But as we're sitting here, we're looking at it, okay. and you wouldn't even know, you know, that it was created by a dam and man-made. And it's absolutely beautiful in its own way. And I wonder what it would be like, you know, if it weren't here. It would just be similar, I imagine, to Yosemite Valley, which we were in the other day, but 
also smaller and unique in its own way because you know it doesn't have el cap it doesn't have half dome it doesn't have as big of waterfalls but still uh i mean this is pretty freaking epic Wapama Falls Trail is rated as a moderately challenging trail. It's an out and back that's roughly 4.7 miles with a thousand feet of elevation change. Be prepared to get wet if you decide to cross the multiple bridges at the falls, although on a hot day that does feel refreshing. Arrive early to get parking, especially in the summer. Although it was busy when we made the trek, this is one of Yosemite's least visited waterfalls and the most underrated. Well, we made it. Woo, that was a trek. It got warm on the way back and most of the trail is pretty exposed on the way back. I'm exhausted carrying this kid. Oh, sorry dude, your face is right in the sun. Yeah, we both were carrying pretty heavy loads. But uh, it's good training for our future backpacking trips we want to take this summer. Exactly. Um, I clocked 7.5 miles round trip. That took us four hours and then there's 1,500 feet of elevation change. What is up y'all? Melissa and Jesse here with Adventure Endeavor. Obviously, you probably know that if you've landed on this page, we have been creating content for roughly three years now here on YouTube. And what we have learned is that community is key. So what we're doing now is introducing channel memberships. So before we go into the channel memberships, we want to reassure you guys that you're still going to get the same great content, even if you decide not to join our membership course thing. Program. Program. So nothing will change if you decide not to join. If you're here watching this video, you're already most likely one of our subscribers. And we wanted to thank you for that because this channel would not exist without you. So if you'd like to take your support one step further, you can become a channel member. We're gonna be adding a bunch of different benefits for different membership levels. This will just give you more value out of our channel and you can help support the adventure endeavor with things like you know, enabling us to buy camera gear, participate in more adventures, and help us share more content through this platform that you already enjoy. Yeah, we, we break a lot of cameras. 